Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Dian Sagita from Indonesian Institute of Sciences. It's wonderful and precious chance for me can participate in this great event, Ekadai 2021. In this great opportunity, I would like to present our paper under the title of Recent Studies and Prospect Application of Ohmic Heating for Fermentation Process, a mini review. Fermentation is one of the oldest fruit processing techniques that has been used in many sectors for centuries around the world. Fermentation serves many functions in the agricultural input sector such as food preservation, providing attractive tests, enhancing food safety, and preventing the growth of disease-causing microbes. In fact, fermentation is still performed traditionally. That's why it is usually takes a long time and difficult to achieve optimum temperature condition. This is important because the microbes such as mold, yeast, and bacteria will develop to their full potential if the ideal conditions are set and maintained during the fermentation process. Actually, the fermentation can be conducted by using an equipment called fermenter. However, conventional fermenter that utilize heat transfer by conduction and convection have not been able to homogenize the temperature. And this is a figure as an illustration of gradient temperature in the reactor due to heating element or water jacket coat. A promising technology that produces rapid and uniform heating has continuously investigated by many researchers. Its name is Ohmic Heating, which is derived from Ohm laws. Many researchers reported that the use of Ohmic Heating can save energy from 82 to 97% while reducing heating time more than 90% compared to conventional heating. Based on the ex this explanation, so the aim of this study is to present a mini review which describes several scientific studies related to the application of ohmic heating for the fermentation processes and its potential for further research and development. The principle of ohmic heating is very simple, uh, you can see like this illustration. So ohmic heating is a concept of product heating that uses the electrical resistance of the material itself to produce heat. The main factor when the, we consider to use this principle is electrical conductivity. This is a unit that indicates how well a material transmits electric current movements. The easy value of various materials is different, so we need to investigate before, before applying the ohmic heating. Uh, actually, pure water has poor electric conductivity and it is around 0.0055 millisiemens per meter. This is some related parameters and consideration for ohmic heating development. The first is electrical conductivity, and then voltage gradient, and number three, frequency and waveform, number four, electrode materials, five, chamber or container, and six is the control system. There are several previous studies related to ohmic heating effect and efficiency. Ohmic heating is used for preheating, pasteurization, and sterilization of products. Ohmic heating doesn't statistically change the chemical composition of sausage, VH, and lipid oxidation, and the energy efficiency up to 94%. Then, ohmic heating was suitable to sterilize highly viscous product, and then reduce less the loss of carotenoid compounds, and then efficiency reached more than 94%, while microwave heating only 24.7%. Here is the formula for calculating the energy efficiency. It is determined based on the ratio of energy output and energy input. The energy output is calculated based on the mass of material specific heat and temperature difference. And then for the energy input, it is calculated based on the voltage, current, and heating time. Previously published papers have been reported on the application of ohmic heating technology in the fermentation process such as for coffee, cocoa, tempeh, and others. We will uh, discuss it more in the next slide. According to Rita et al., the flavor profile of Robusta coffee dairy from Bantang fermented with ohmic fermentation technology is categorized as excellent specialty coffee with a total score of 83.75. This result is obtained from the treatment of 18 hours fermentation and 35 degrees Celsius of temperatures. Next, according to Rita et al. also, yeah, ohmic technology has a good impact on the fermented Arabica coffee result. It is provides fermented coffee which has a much lower total acidity compared to the traditional fermentation when performed with 30 degrees Celsius and 18 hours. And then, according to Muhidong and Mustafa, ohmic 
Permanentism could gain a high capping score and the highest is 85.25 when it is fermented for 12 hours and using a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. For cocoa bean product, ohmic fermentation for 3 days at 50 degrees Celsius didn't show a significant difference with the result of 5 day fermentation in traditionally. Another study reported that the use of ohmic fermenter can speed up the fermentation time where the fermented beans yield by 95% can be achieved in just 3 days while conventionally need about 5 days or more. This phenomenon occurs because the ohmic heating will help to shorten the microbial leg fast in the early stage of fermentation by providing the proper temperature for yeast growth. The use of ohmic technology has been demonstrated to be applicable to a variety of fermentation processes in terms of temperature conditioning to achieve optimal and regulated condition. And here is some prospect application for further research and development using ohmic heating for a fermentation process. There are many products that involve a fermentation process as listed by Adams and Not such as quark, yogurt, sucrose, kraut, culture milk, cheese, nutted cocoa, fermented cassava, and so on. And for the conclusion, the first, there is an effect of using ohmic heating in the fermentation process and has a positive impact on the result of fermented products. The number two, more research into the phenomena and reaction that occur during the fermentation using ohmic heating is needed to be studied, especially on the product that are commonly fermented. And number three, since it produces a high uniformity of temperature distribution for liquid and non-liquid products, the ohmic heating system has been proven to be important and appropriate for the construction of fermenter equipment. I think that's all my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.